We run a group twice a week called Growing Together. Um, the group is predominantly to focus on child and parent interaction together. It's about um, observing and reflecting on child development, encouraging parents to participate in children, children's activities and understanding the children why they do what they do. Children are welcomed in at 9.30. Um, today obviously we welcome parents in as well because it was the Growing Together group. So it's a case of when the parents come in, having a little chat, making them a hot drink, um, asking them if they've got any, anything that they want to share with us from, from at home, if there's anything, you know, any schemas have been identified in the home. Um, we only started the Growing Together group back in July last year. Um, the Crescent Children's Centre were piloting it in this area. Um, and then we went locality, so we, we started to do it as well. And it's just been absolutely phenomenal. When it first came, when we start, first started talking about pickle, I was thinking as a practitioner, oh, something else we've got to do. But when you actually see it working and you see parents thinking, it puts parents' minds at ease as to why the child does something. They're not abnormal. You know, why does he always do that? That's what we always get. It's that's how he likes to play. And they can then go home and use that. And it, it just makes you feel absolutely, it just makes you feel that you, you've provided something for these families. I mean, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money, you know, to promote your child's development. Just watch your child, see what they like doing, and just, just you know, feed them with, with what they like to be doing. Um, I had a little boy last week. Mum came for the very first time, um, and a little boy, she said, is always always rolling things across the floor, throwing things, um, and she, she was like, he's, he's doing it all the time, it's driving me crackers. So we watched him in the group, and he got a rotation schema. You know, he kept picking up balls and rolling them across the floor. And she said, there's toys that he's never played with. And when I've gone home, I've realised why. You can't roll them. So, I, you know, she said, I've sold them. I've put them on eBay and I'm going to buy some, like, you know, click clack tracks with balls that come down, which is something that he really enjoyed playing with. You know, a lot of our parents haven't got the money to go out and buy fancy toys. You don't need fancy toys. Just watch your child, see what makes them tick and just provide for that. Um, in the area in the room we've got a, a discovery area and it's literally made of bread crates and, and clothes areas. We try and do activities that parents can carry out in the home. Providing activities for your child doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It's just knowing what makes your child tick. At Thomas Bowie we're here for the children and, and the families, but our main focus is the children. So working with the families gives us that input with the children, which then gives them a better start in life. We measure children's progress with um, the EYFS document. So the EYFS document is from birth to five, to five years. It, they give you targets which children should be what they class as a norm. Other children like ourselves, with the children and the little stars, we have um, more in-depth broken down targets because they need that bit more extra support putting into place so we can work at that level of the child and not what we presume that they're at. In the YFS we have a creative module that we cover and um, colour comes under that and it's again about building on the, first we build on the four primary colours, red, green, yellow, blue and so we reinforce all the time the colours um, in any activities we do, we reinforce colours, but we bring size into it, we bring numbers into it, we bring shapes into it. We find it really important because the amount of children that struggle with colours, because it's not said to them, so it is. In the case of that's the blue one, so we're reinforcing colour all the time. The physical development again within the UIFS states about uh, learning children to move small manipulative which is like the, the little finger picking up of the little pins and things like that. And the large manipulator is the legs and the skipping and getting that motion. So the bikes, these children at the stage where they're on the push along bike, so they use the feet to move. And they were manoeuvring the bikes quite well with the feet. So what we will do next is take them onto the pedals and learning them to use the pedals. So it's important that they go through them stages of play for the bike. Part of our process of observations, we do have to always be looking at the way we can move a child on as an individual. You don't have a generic plan, you have something that is for each child. So they're playing and what we need to do is know how to progress that play and that's what we're always looking for. I'm very proud because we are successful with our families. We feel the children come in, they're happy, Sometimes they come in and they're sad for a little bit because they're new to us, but our families are happy. Thomas Barney is a good centre. It has a good feel about it. 
and families that enjoy coming and it makes you feel proud of what you do. My name's Stephanie Clues and I'm a play and learning practitioner at Stoke North Locality Centre. The activities are all set out for the children. The first hour is a free flow kind of thing, so they uh, have access to activities inside and outdoors. A planning sheet's filled in so we make sure that we cover the six areas of learning. We do a, a sensory activity um, which can be like foam, um, gel, glue, corn flour to, to get the children putting their hands in, touching, tasting, feeling. We have the sensory room as well that they can go into and where they can press buttons for cause and effect and see what happens. Physically, we've got a good outside area that's quite new that we use. I'd say we, we're creating a really stimulating environment for all the children from 0 to 5 years. So that's what we're doing really. We're ensuring that they have the opportunity to explore these activities, to develop the learning and to have fun really and to be you know, socially, learning social skills and to be accepted and have a sense of belonging. My name's Cheryl Felton and I'm Play and Learning Coordinator in Senko for the, this locality. Uh, the session you've seen this morning is a crash session for parents um, and their children. The parents this morning were on a maths course uh, for the level one and two to get the qualifications together so that it empowers them to go back into work. They're delighted to bring the children to crash. Uh, they were full of positivity about the centre. They're, they're very strong about what they want. They know they're getting uh, positive results for the children and for themselves in children's centres. I really do enjoy my job. Uh, it's a pleasure to come to work. It's a pleasure to see children achieving and it's a pleasure to see areas developing and parents becoming more positive about the parenting skills and the services that are available to them out there.